Hey there, mamas. This is Matt with Cardit Pro. Uh, we've got a new interface and new version 2.0.0, so I wanted to run through some basics with you and give you a quick tutorial with the new features. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is, let's say you have Cardit Pro SCB. When you go to the SCB site, uh, up at the top left, top left corner, you'll see this little box. If you hover over it, all of the controls will drop down for you. At the top, we have a nice time readout, accurate to the second. That is your local time, so whatever time is on your computer will display right there. Your computer time is most likely very accurate because uh, it keeps up to date via the internet. Underneath that, we have several different carding methods. Single product method, which is to be used if the shop is only loading one product. Search method, if they're loading more than one product and you just type in a search term like the name of the product that you want because you only want one of them. And then we have an advanced mode. And we'll talk about that in a little detail in, in a little while. So let's just continue on down the list here. I'm going to talk real fast so I can try to get through as many use cases as possible without wasting your time. Uh, we have a search interval here. This is not necessary for you to mess with. By default, it's set to 500 milliseconds, which is a half of a second. What that tells Cardit Pro is how often to scan for new products. In the future, this may be something that I might put a post on Facebook and tell you to configure it differently, but for now, you don't have to worry about it. Underneath that, we have an automatically checkout checkbox. That is also set by default to automatically check you out. Again, you don't really need to use this right now. I use it in testing. Uh, but you probably won't need to use that, but you may in the future. So it's there. Just follow me on Facebook and I'll let you know. Uh, we also have a pause before checkout. So when Cardit Pro carts a product for you, goes to the cart page, it was going to check out. You can configure this to go up to three and a half seconds. To pause for three and a half seconds before it presses the checkout button. There's been a lot of talk on the boards about shop owners denying your order if you cart too fast, which I think is totally ridiculous and I don't think it'll ever happen. But if that's ever the case, you have a control here where you could configure this. For now, don't worry about it. It's already set to 500 milliseconds by default. You can leave it right there. Underneath that, we have our size input. This is where you put like 24M or 5T or whatever you're looking for whatever size you're looking for. Uh, there's some more complexities to this. We'll talk about that in just a moment when we run through a use case scenario. And below that, we have your cart quantity. So pay attention to the boards and what they say is what goes. So if they say that um, you're limited to two products per cart, you better stick to that because down here, you can put in as much as you want. You can put in 10 and we'll try to cart 10 for you. Uh, but they can set it on their end to only allow so many products. And uh, you can screw yourself out of getting stuff if you don't pay attention to that. So pay attention to the limits and stick to them. And underneath that, we have our ready to go, go button. You'll notice that that says not ready yet, and it's red if you don't have everything filled out that you need to fill out. So... Before I run through a quick use case, let me talk about a couple of other things that are very basic. First thing is when you're going to a site and you're going to cart and it's going to be fast, log in way before it's go time because you don't want to have to try to fill out your shipping address or any crap like that later on. So log in beforehand. And if you don't know where the heck their login link is, I put a little one in the Cardit Pro thing. So click on that little login um, in our interface and that will take you to log into their site. The other deal is fill out your credit card information. If you click on manage credit card, you'll see our Cardit Pro interface where you can fill out your credit card information, card number, name on card, expiration date, and your uh, verification number on the back. We also have a new control, it's called Live Mode. This will be checked for you by default. 
but I have it unchecked here because I'm going to run through a bunch of scenarios and I'll go live mode on the last one. But for the other ones, I don't want to do all of that just to make it a lot quicker for all of us. So after you fill all of that out, you go back to shopping. Every time you go back, uh, Card Pro basically resets itself. So all the defaults are set and uh, we did that on purpose. Okay, so let's th run through a quick scenario. Let's say the simplest of all scenarios, you, there's a dress that's loading at seven o'clock or whatever, and there's only one dress loading and you know what the size is gonna be, 5T, and that's basically all you have to do and you'll just hit go. So wait till about 30 seconds or 15 seconds before load time and then press go. So I'm gonna do that for you real quick go and I'm going to go publish a product as if I'm a shop owner just published it boom there it found it added it to the cart it's checking out and I'm in test mode so I get a little pop-up that says you're in test mode press OK to have card at pro fill in your credit card information or press cancel to do nothing I'm going to press cancel because I don't want to fill it, fill out my bogus credit card information right now uh, I'm just going to skip that step, and I'll show you that later. So cancel that, and you can pause and rewind whatever your video so you can see how quickly that goes, but it is really fast. So I'm going to go back. Actually, I'm going to go to the cart, and I'm going to remove that from my cart so that I can show you the next scenario. All right, so let's do a scenario where same thing, they're loading one product and you want to cart an 18 month. Okay, and so you put in 18 month and let me get my product ready here and you press go. So it's searching for the product and let's publish the product. Here comes a product, boom, it popped up. Okay, so we were looking for 18M but we didn't find it. Okay, so what we do is we display all of the different options that you have up here. They were trying to get sneaky, so they typed out 18 as the size. So in order to accommodate for that, what Carter Pro will do is just present the product to you real quick with all of the options. And these are all little buttons, so all you have to do is click on it, okay? So just pay attention to your screen. If something pops up, that means we didn't find what you typed in for us to search for and here are your options. So all you have to do is identify what you want and it's going to be super quick again. All you have to do is click on it, loads it, checks out, fills out your credit card information and you've got it. Okay. So you can see when they start messing with the names of the sizes and all that kind of junk, that's okay. We can still handle it. It's still super quick to just click on it. All right. I'm going to cancel that. Go back remove that from my cart. Let me go to the home page here. <clears throat> now let's go through the search method. Uh, let me unpublish a couple of these products real quick here. So that I can load several products at the same time. Okay. So this scenario, what we're going to do, we're going to use the search carding method, and this is what you'll use if they're loading more than one product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load three products. They're named test product 2, test product 3, and test product 4. So let's say I want product 3. I'm just going to type product 3 into my search term and then put in the size that I want. Okay? <laughs> Excuse me. So just notice here this is not case sensitive so you can do all whatever combination of uh, capital lowercase letters you want it doesn't matter we'll still find it as long as whatever you type here is found in the products now all of the products that I'm loaded have the word product in the title so if I were to just type in product Cardit Pro would just get grab the first one that it sees that's that has the word product in it and check out. So because three is the differentiator in the title, I'm going to put product three in there. Okay, and let me just show you how that works. 
press go. I'm going to publish the products right now. It grabbed product three, added my size, went to checkout. As simple as that. clear my cart and you can see I loaded test product one test product two and well test product one was already loaded I loaded test product two and test product four um, also I'm on the home page here and that test product three didn't load onto the home page but Carded Pro still knows that the product is loaded on the site so it doesn't matter what page it loads on we've got it and you can see I've got another category here blue shirts where it loaded uh, but we were still able to find it. So let me take that out of my cart. I bet these clicks are really loud on your end. All right, anyways, that doesn't matter. So let's say they're loading three products. <clears throat> and you think you know what they're going to name them but you don't actually know what they're going to name them. They're changing the word purple to something else, and it's not going to have the word dress in it or whatever, or what if you know you misspell something and oops, you put in, like, duck l'orange or something like that, and uh, you should be searching for a particular type of dress or whatever, and you still want 5T, whatever you want, okay? And let's say you want two of them. So here's our search term, Duck a Orange. I'm loading three products. They're named Test Product 2, Test Product 3, Test Product 4. So we're obviously not going to find that. But that's OK. We can still accommodate for that. So I'm going to publish those. Published. And what it does is say, we're looking for this search term but we didn't find it, so here's all of your options. So pick whatever you want. So I can just pick this, add it to cart. It added two, you can see, and it took me to checkout. So let me cancel that and go back. And bear with me, because I've got just uh, two more little test cases for you. hide those products and let me take them out of my cart All right okay so now let's go over advanced mode uh, real quickly so in advanced mode, you don't fill out a search term and you don't fill out a size because what we're going to do is we're going to find all of the products that they load and display them for you with all of the different sizes that you can choose. Um, and there's two things that you can fill out here. That's the cart quantity. That's how many of each item you're going to add to your cart. And there's also variant quality, quantity. <clears throat> variant quantity just means... That uh, oh sorry, uh, variant quantity just means how many of a different product. So uh, let me show you exactly what that means so that it makes sense to you. Okay. Um, oh here's a little thing I have to change. I filled out this, but it says it's not ready yet when it actually is. I'm going to change that before I publish this, uh, which I'm going to do tonight. Okay. So they're loading. Just to recap the scenario, loading three products, um, but you're not sure what they're going to be named, and you don't want to take the chance, So, and or you want test product 2 and test product 4. You want both products, and you want them both in your cart, and you still want to be able to check out as fast as possible. So what I did is I set my cart quantity to 2, because every um, product that I click on, I want to add two of them to my cart, and I set my variant quantity to two, that means that I can add two different products to my cart. So let me go ahead and press go. Publish the products and you'll see we find all the products, show them in the same little interface here, 
And because my variant quantity is set to 2, I can click on Test Product 2. That turns green to show you that I added that. And then I could pick something else, like a 2T in Test Product 4. Because I had it set to 2, it put them both in my cart, went straight to checkout, and checked out. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now you can add two different products to your cart and check out, or two different sizes of the same product or whatever. So a little bit complex, but really cool. So that's all of those different features. Uh, stay tuned to the Cart it Pro Facebook page because we'll add tips and tricks and everything as we go. I just wanted to do this quick tutorial before I release the new version uh, because they're doing, SCB is doing a load. I was going to say tomorrow, but it's today because it's after 12 a.m. So, good luck. Bye, mamas.